Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Alright, so it's seriously almost two or three in the morning right now. So I would say good morning. Or good evening, I guess. I just got home from work. But I really I really have been wanting to do a video on this for skincare Saturday. Yes, I'm drinking coffee at like two or three in the morning. It doesn't affect me anymore. Also taking my Halo Beauty because I forgot to take it when I woke up. So I have been wanting to do a video on this. I've been using these products for about two weeks now. One of them for a few months now. One of them since April um, and one of them for about two or three weeks now. So my birthday is coming up. I'm turning, I'm turning 29 years old guys. And anyone in their early 20s, heck, anyone in their teen years, do me, do, not even me, do yourself a favor and start taking very good care of your skin. Because it wasn't until, alright, so I've been into makeup for a few years, like I won't even lie. I've been into makeup for a few years and I've known like the best makeup application doesn't necessarily depend on your skills. I mean, it does obviously because the more you do makeup, the more your skills improve. But as far as like the base, that has really nothing to do with skills. You can be using the best brushes, the best sponges, the best primers, the best foundations. But at the end of the day, y'all, unless you're, unless you're taking care of your skin, none of it's going to matter. And in all seriousness, and I might sound like a hypocrite preaching to the choir right now, but makeup is supposed to enhance your natural beauty. It's not supposed to change your appearance completely. I know when I put on makeup, I look like a totally different person. But here's the difference. I intentionally do that. Like, I intentionally contour my face to look a certain shape. Because I can't change the shape of my face. I can change how chunky my little cheeks are. And since I stopped drinking, like, sodas and stuff, you can tell. I can make my double chin go away. Since I stopped drinking sodas and stuff, my face has thinned out. But at the end of the day, you are supposed to be able to, you should walk out of the house confidently without makeup. Because regardless of what flaws you may have at the end of the day you're still beautiful like you don't need makeup no one needs makeup yeah it's fun yeah it makes us feel good i mean i don't know about y'all i do makeup for me i don't do makeup for anyone else i do makeup for me because it is a creative outlet that I'm passionate about like I'm genuinely passionate about makeup so that being said um girls boys whatever you identify yourself as start taking care of your skin at an early age because I won't lie to you I smoke cigarettes I do um it's not a healthy habit not a healthy habit, but here's why I'm saying this. It does age you. Now, I might, 
well, depending on the day, I might not look like I'm approaching 30. Especially with make when I do my makeup, I don't always look like I'm approaching 30. Someone asked me today, they're like, how old are you? I was like, I'm almost 29. And they're like, what? Like, I still get carded for everything. I go buy cigarettes, I still get carded. I go buy a drink, I still get carded. So, I, I mean, I'm not saying I look way older than I am. I mean, there's definitely days I look older than I am. That's called... I don't sleep but since I started taking halo a few months ago I have noticed a drastic 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 difference in my skin I don't get breakouts as much my skin looks plumper it feels nice I don't have as much texture my pores are because of something else and I've even noticed the lines on my forehead have improved. My smile lines have improved. I don't really have wrinkles. But my eyes are not that. Well, that could also be the fact that I'm, I sleep a lot more because I'm not as stressed. But, like, my eyes are not as dark and puffy as they would be. So, I think that is a combination of my halo, but I also think that is a combination of my actual skincare. So, let me talk about that for a second. We all knew, we all know at night I do a double cleanse. Okay. I go in with a oil to remove my makeup, and then I go in with a gel cleanser. Alright, that's not why we're here. And then in the morning, I always wash my face with my gel cleanser. Always. Now, my nighttime routine has changed. I still use my vitamin C hyaluronic acid blend, but instead of using it at night, I have shifted to using it during the day instead of just a straight vitamin C. Here's why. I have recently started trying one, again, I've been using one for a few months now, since April. And then these two products, I got at the beginning of June. So, the first thing is the Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. So, I rotate, I use this about, I want to say one or two times a week. Okay. That keeps my skin so hydrated. I wake up looking like I just got 13 hours of sleep. And it just... My skin feels soft, it's glowy, it's pretty. Now I've also been using the daytime version of this. Um, it's just the gel moisturizer. I've been using that and I love it. I like a gel moisturizer during the summer in New Orleans because my face is already sticky and hot. I don't wanna feel like I have a crap ton of product on. Second thing I've been doing Two times a week, I've been using the Pharmacy Honeymoon Honey, yeah, Honeymoon Glow AHA Resurfacing Night Serum with honey and flower acids. Now, if you have sensitive skin, I recommend you mixing this with your moisturizer to dilute it, and you're only using it once a week until you start to build up build up a tolerance. And it even says on here two to three times a week. Now I'm only using it two because two nights, two nights, so that's four, okay? The other three nights I've started using this. So I saw this on Amazon for $20 plus a 20% off coupon. And I think I am trying to remember which makeup channel. I want to say it was make mixed makeup. I want to say it was mixed makeup. Where she tried like five highly rated Amazon products. And this is one of them. Then when she was talking about retinols in another video, this was one of them. So apparently it is very, it's 2.5% retinol. Which... 
I guess is really high for an over-the-counter retinol. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to pretend I know a lot about retinols when I don't. Like, I don't. I will say this, though. I remember I was about 19. I wasn't taking a great care of my skin. But I wasn't taking bad care of my skin. Like, I washed my face and I moisturized. But I didn't go through all the steps I go through now. I also didn't wear as much makeup as I wear now. Um... I would like throw on some powder foundation and some eyeliner and mascara. Like I didn't do my brows. It was, we're going to have to do like a glow up video. <laughs> Those were dark times in my life. Okay. Anyway, um, I remember using a anti-aging cream my mom had and I know it had retinol in it. Because I've always heard my mom talk about like retinol and how it's good for anti-aging and blah, blah, blah. And my mom. Y'all, if your mom tells you, if your mom tells you, take care of your skin, listen to your mother. Because my mother, and I'm going to throw up a picture. My mother, my mother is a stunning individual. I, I, I think my mom is gorgeous. And I don't tell her that as much as I should, but I think my mom is gorgeous. My mom is, my mom is stunning. And my mom does not look her age. I'm not going to say her age because I'm pretty sure if I said her age, and I know she's going to watch this video because I'm going to tell her to watch this video, but I'm pretty sure if I said my mom's age, for anyone to see, my mom would kill me. Like, there would be no more Skincare Saturday series because I'd be dead. Okay? So I'm not going to say my mom's age. Um, But, and don't go guessing my mom's age either, okay? Just leave it alone. Let's just say she looks amazing for her age. But, she's always, she always told me to take good care of my skin. Always moisturize, always moisturize, always moisturize, always moisturize. So I did, like I always moisturize. Well, one day, I was like, I want to say I was like 18. And I saw this anti-aging cream. And I'm looking in the mirror and like, keep in mind, I'm 18. I'm staying out late. I'm waking up early. I'm working. I'm going to school. I had started smoking. And at the time, I just started dating my husband. So it was... It was a rough year for my skin, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but I wasn't, I was washing my face, but I wasn't looking at ingredients. So I did like look in the mirror one day and I was like, oh, I feel like I look old. So now I also didn't know you don't use retinols during the day. Because retinols are usually meant to be used at night, especially if it's from a dermatologist, which is, I think, Retin-A. Y'all, I put it on my face during the day. When I tell you I had an allergic reaction to it or something, I don't remember what it was exactly, but I remember wearing it and then coming home and my face was itchy. It was red. It was puffy. <laughs> and we couldn't for the life of me figure out what it was. Well, looking back, we thought it was a um, Alba Botanics. So Alba is a natural like skincare line. I said I used that, uh, which I probably did. Knowing me, I probably did. I probably put it on top of her retinol. And I think it was like a brightening mask. Or like a brightening cream. I don't remember. She remembered it smelled really good, so I wanted to put it on my face. Like, you know when you're a kid and you see all your mom's stuff and you're like, oh, I'm going to put it all on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what I did. Well, let's just say I had, I had a chemical reaction to all the products I put on my face. And I know for a fact one of them was retinol. Now, retinol is essentially removing... <laughs> 
it's an exfoliator basically. So it's essentially removing the top layer of skin, which is going to make your skin sensitive to sunlight. And yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So we, we know this story. Well, I had a reaction. It wasn't a positive one. So from, uh, from that moment on, I just, I, I stuck with my proactive, okay? Let's just say that. Now, I fast forward. Oh, Lord Jesus. I was 18. Fast forward like eight, nine years, okay? That's when I started taking an interest in my skin. So it wasn't too late, but it wasn't as early. You can honestly, like, this is super gentle. And this is what I really wanted to come on here and talk about. Yes, I love this. It moisturizes my face. It smells amazing. I put it on my face after I wash it. I go to sleep. I call it a day. This is amazing. However, with these two, I use no serums. I will put on my hydrating water essence from e.l.f. Because what in water essence does is, yeah, it does, it hydrates your face, but it also pre like preps, it's like a primer, basically. It is the primer of skincare. Like you put a primer on before you put foundation on because it preps your skin for foundation. Well, in essence, it's the primer of skincare. So I will put that on. This does tingle. It tingles. I haven't had a bad reaction to it yet. And I've been using it for like two or three weeks now. Um, this, I've had no reaction to. Uh, no negative reaction. My skin though, y'all. And this is why I wanted to talk about these two products. This, hey, it's vegan. And it's cruelty free. And it's other things. Not tested on animals. It is natural like it's called Lily Anna Naturals contains 71% organic so I no parabens SLS SLES petroleum phthalates artificial color or fragrance this might not actually be vegan so don't quote me on that I'm not a thousand percent sure I am pretty sure it is but I do know it's cruelty free so I've had no negative reaction to this. I put it all over my face. It even says to lightly dab it right here. I love it. I've even gotten to the point where I have been using it in the daytime. Um, I will use this maybe two times a week during the day. Here's the trick. I will not use this during the day if I use this the night before. If I use this the night before, I will go in with something simple like a gel moisturizer. And here's why. Because after I wash this off in the morning, yeah, my, my skin's pretty much absorbed everything from it. But it is a resurfacing night serum. And you're not supposed to put anything on top of it. So your skin, your skin is still going to be sensitive. So you don't want to go in with something else that is meant to exfoliate again first thing in the morning. So after I go in with this, I will just follow it up in the morning with like a gel moisturizer. Now if I use this the night before or I use this the night before, I may use this. Again, I only use this two, maybe three times a week during the day because actually all three of these because this is also a form of acid will make your skin more sensitive to sunlight now that being said I have been mixing a BB cream with a moisturizer and some foundation my BB cream has an SPF of 30 in it I put a pump of foundation in it just to give it a little more coverage and then a cream moisturizer um, which I don't even have anymore, so I'm out of it completely. So we're just gonna pretend I don't I don't have a mixture right now because I don't. But it's just been BB cream, uh, a pump of foundation, and a little extra of like a cream moisturizer, just to have that SPF, but also have some hydration, but also have some pigment. 
happy balance, happy, happy balance. So I've been using that a lot lately and I will say this, I have, all right, so I do have a few little spots. Um, I'm not entirely sure what these little spots are. They just popped up the other day. I think these are just like little hormonal reactions because my special friend is visiting. We'll just, yeah. Okay, Um, this, these two are pimple scars from when I pick this and this are from earlier today because I was sitting at work going. So we're going to ignore that. But this is the culprit. This is the culprit. These lines right here. Now they may not be that big of a deal. Like they may not be super noticeable to y'all. But as we all know, as we all know, I'm a woman. And as a woman, you can have a million people telling you you're gorgeous. And you can tell me I'm full of crap because if you don't feel this way, all the power to you. But we are our harshest critics. We really are. We are the ones that find our flaws. We are the ones that find the flaws nobody else sees. So I have noticed a drastic improvement here and I want to say that is in part to Halo but also in part to my skincare so now moral of the story is this video turned really long I've already washed my face and put this on by the way moral of the story is I don't care if you're 18 I don't care if you're 25 I don't care if you're 30 I don't care if you're approaching 40 I don't care if you're approaching 70 it is never too late to start caring for your skin. And this, and this, and this are amazing products. Yes, this and this are a little pricey. This is great for hydration. This is great for giving you glowing skin in the morning. And this, this is just like a really creamy version of this, basically. My skin has improved drastically, guys. Drastically. And I have some other like anti-aging things coming um, that I'm testing out before I film a video on it. I wanna actually be able to give you my honest opinion. I don't wanna slap it on and be like, all right guys, I tried it one time. So, but. Moral of this story, and a moral of this series, take care of your skin, guys. It's never too early, and it's never too late. Um, but this little gem is $20 with Amazon Prime, and I've, I've fallen in love with it. This is something that is going to be a staple in my skincare until I can't buy it anymore because my face, and it's moisturizing, like it has hyaluronic acid in it. So it's moisturizing and it's just, it works. Like it really works. I've been using this often, like for two weeks now and I've noticed a drastic improvement in my skin, but that's also in part to Halo. So um, I'm going to actually do a Halo video Yes, yes, a Halo video. Um, I'm going to wait until about one more month because I have this much left <laughs> of my third bottle. So before I start my fifth bottle, I'm going to do a video on Halo. But I love it. I really do. I think I actually have one more bottle. Oh, I do not. Okay. I thought I had a backup bottle. It is time to order another bottle of Halo. But, yes. So, I'm going to do a Halo bottle check-in. Wow. 
yeah, I need to order my, my another bottle. So I'm going to go ahead and go on that note, but I just really wanted to talk about this and how amazing it is along with this. And then we all know I, the, the watermelon glow you can't go wrong with. But thank you guys so much for watching. Stay, make sure you are subscribed and you hit that notification bell. Because July, July has some surprises coming, y'all. Ooh, buddy, does July have some, prize, some surprises coming. Not to mention, um, it's almost the year anniversary of my channel. So I'm kind of hoping we can hit 100 subscribers. So make sure you are subscribed and share with your friends. Because once I hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. I'm really excited. I have some fun things that I'm planning for that giveaway. <laughs> But I'm really, really excited. So, yeah, make sure you are subscribed. And I, just, I have a lot of fun things coming for July. I'm really excited about one of the Skincare Saturday videos alone. So, yes. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.